back once again. Another edition of Inside the Headset. We're on our second stop of week one, game one. Quickly approaching. I'm on the campus of Riverdale High School. I got with me the head coach of the Riverdale Warriors, head coach Will Kreisky. He's been with us since 2016. Can you believe that? Nine years. Nine years. Nine years you've been doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Do a little bit different than you did the first year, though, didn't you? And, and how much more you have... Uh, in coaching. Talk a little bit about uh, that. You know, I mean, it's funny you say that because I never forget when I met with Coach Aylock. I said, Coach Aylock, when I started to get the itch to be head coach, uh, I said, uh, when do you know that you're ready? I said, you're never ready until you sit in this chair. By God, he was right. Because <laughs> you don't know about the ins and outs and the little things and the, getting the eligibility on TWSAA and the bookkeeper, dealing with the bookkeeper on a daily basis, make sure things get paid and get coaches paid and Team, just every, just the logistics of everything. How much smoother is it ready to get ready for the first game, even though you're on the road, uh, you know, and that gives you a little break because uh, uh, one of our other one, uh, one of your uh, counterparts, or one of your opponents uh, later on in the schedule, he's going to christen his so-called turf field. It kind of gives you a week to kind of get ready. Like you said, you got some uh, cool logistics to do before that first home game, but it'll be good to get on the road and a very popular opponent that we'll talk about here shortly. Yeah, it, it, you know, I've been fortunate. Most of these guys have been with me since 2016, so a lot of us have worked together for nine years. So we kinda, That says a lot. Yeah, so we've kind of gotten a rhythm. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll review things and meet as a staff. Uh, you know, like Sunday we went over everything and everybody's coaching responsibilities for a game-type situation and game week and all that. Uh, but, you know, I lost Coach White, my online line coach. He, he went out to work for us. He's no longer coaching and teaching. Uh, it's a new old line guy, uh, Nick. Uh, but he, he, Nick was around this spring, all summer, so you know he got to feel. And Coach White did a, a phenomenal job, just kind of mentoring him through the spring. Okay. Uh, Coach White coached uh, the O line this spring, and Nick kind of was there with him and helped him. So that was an easy transition. Okay. Uh, so that was good. But you know, I got three guys on staff that played for me in '16. They were seniors: uh, Gentry Bonds, uh, Markwell Odom, and Preston Barnes. So they kind of run practice the same as that I, you know, do their drills and their individual, kind of like what I, how I did theirs when I coached. When they were coming yes, up, the way yes. you taught them. Yeah, so so that's having them on the staff too is good because you got another voice. I mean, you got a young kid, a uh, young coach, whether well, we're young kids, you know, I'm getting up in age, you know. And you, when you have good young coaches that are investing in these kids, those kids respond well to them. You can turn your back. You can turn your back, you know, what yes. this, that they are teaching them what you taught them, so we're just we're letting the tree, you've yes. got a little tree going. So uh, it's, it's been good having those guys with us, you know, and then we got a full full freshman staff now. Uh, some guys that coached with me originally on the varsity staff that kind of just wanted to take a seat back and do some things with the freshmen. And, you know, Steve McClanahan and Nate Paris have joined that freshman staff, and they they were with me in my first five years. Uh, so it's, it's awesome that they're helping and still involved. Uh, so we've kind of still been together with them guys for nine years. So, you know, Coach Barnes has been with us the last three years. This is his third season. Uh, but he's been a good addition, fit right in. It's been smooth. Uh, you know, Coach Rail came with us. Let's see, he came in 19. Uh, Coach Brooks got the head coaching job at East Robertson. And, you know, it's, it's been good with that. So, again, I've been blessed and fortunate to keep these guys around, uh, keep the majority of them around. And like you said, you know, especially getting this turf, you know, logistics and things. That's a lot easier. Uh, I, got good, I got good guys that work hard. Uh, I don't have to ask them to do stuff. They see something wrong, they fix it. They try to fix the problem before it gets to me. And, that, and that's a blessing to have a group of guys like this. And to be able to have a group of guys, you got to have a good administration and let you keep guys in the building. You know, we have a lot of coaches in our building. Uh, and that, that says a lot. You know, I've been working with us, getting those guys. It says a lot about what those guys do in the classroom because they're just not going to hire us. You know what I mean? They want to have good teachers in the classroom. That's what this player wants first. And uh, those guys do what they're supposed to do in the school. Day. As someone once said, we want to hire a football coach who can teach math. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we want to do. Uh, did you guys get out yesterday, freshman and JV? Did you all have a game? Yeah, yesterday? we did. did you get out? What, 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 what came about that? Just uh, the first chance to hit somebody different yeah. at full speed and then not be a scrimmage and a, and a mop up of a scrimmage. It was their time yesterday. Yeah, it, How did that it go? It was, it was good, it was good. The freshmen went over to Sable and won 38 to 18. They did okay. a good job. Our freshmen, we got a pretty good freshman class. We're excited about them. Uh, we feel like those guys are gelling. So we combined the Christiana and Buchanan, uh, Buchanan Middle School. So those guys combined. Those guys didn't have a good middle school career. I think the combined last year they may have won one game. 
And so for them to win last night was huge. Uh, but the, we got a really good group of freshmen. I'm really excited about them. Uh, look forward to watching them progress. Uh, they've been phenomenal all summer, just just being as a team and, and coming to practice and matching wearing what you're supposed to and just doing the little things that. Uh, First part of being yeah. a football player, be here on time. You know, have your gear ready, be ready to work out and, and, and work out hard while you're here. You know, they got some good talent. You know, we get, we actually got one freshman, Jerry Thompson, who didn't even dress with him last night. Just because we had a, a starter get a bum ankle, and he's the next guy up in the middle linebacker for Boston. That says a lot about that kid. Wow. Yeah. So he's going to get some playing time Friday night. Yes, he will. Well, let's get into it. Uh, defense, what do you got returning, Coach? What do you uh, we got JoJo Smith. He's coming back. Oh, he's dangerous. Yeah, he's coming he's back. He's real he, dangerous. He's had a really good offseason, put on a lot of good weight. He looks great in a set of shoulder pads. Uh, so he, he's doing really good. He's kind of the leader over there. Him and J.C. Haynes. Okay, you know, yeah, J.C. Haynes, yeah. J.C. be on the edge. And then we got a new addition, Caleb Woods. Came to us. His, him and his dad moved up here from uh, Cane Ridge. Okay. Uh, Eddie Woods. Okay. 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 So, okay. so he's up on the defense line. And he's played real well. And, you know, Anthony Gunn's returning starter. All right. Uh, we're excited about Anthony and, and uh, you know what he can do for us because uh, he, he's he played a little bit as a freshman toward the end of the season. Last year as a sophomore, he started. Now he's in his junior year, so you know he should be ready to go. Yeah, he should be ready to go. I mean, games should slow slow down for him and be able to just really light somebody up if he catches them in the wrong spot at the right time. Yeah, and you know our secondary, we got we got Cam Darden's returning starting secondary. Other than that, everybody's new, and there's a lot of guys fighting for those spots. Uh, so, you, you like the young crowd, the, yeah, the new, you know, yes. the guys that are coming in, even though they're probably a little green, and they'll be a little nervous Friday night on that defensive side of the ball, being down at the dog pound. You'll you'll, you'll hear that side of the ball. Yeah, so you know, uh, but a good game to crank it up. Yes, with. it is. I love it's, it. it's always a good rival. If they end that, coach, regardless of you know how long you and I stay in this, that'll be a shame because the Smyrna Riverdale game is just it's. It's, you know, Riverdale's been here since 52 years, and, you know, I, you know Smyrna's been there forever, so it's about that long to down there. Yeah, it's, it's good. It's an in-county route, you know what I mean? It's non-district, but it's in-county, and the kids know each other, you know? It's, it's, it's got a little grip. Yeah. It's got just enough. And I mean, they're not in your, I mean, you know, no, the game doesn't count against you, but it does. It's bragging yeah. rights a little bit, you know. We you, don't want, you don't want to lose in the county. No, you don't, you don't want to lose like, any to like anybody. No, you don't like losing anybody in the county. Offensively, how are you going to look? Uh, you know, we're playing we're replacing 9 11. Yeah. So it's going to be tough. Um, those guys are coming along and they're moving well. Gavin Harris returning offensive line. He started for us last year at guard. And Dominic, DJ Taylor, obviously the running back, he's back. Uh, DJ looks good. DJ had a really good offseason. DJ's committed to MTSU. We're proud of DJ and everything he's done. Yeah, and that's big. I mean, you know, it's, you know, I mean, that's a good that's a good piece of paper. If you can go over there for four years, get your degree, walk out, you will go and get you a good job somewhere. Yeah. Because, you know, very unlikely, DJ, and I don't mean this against anybody. I don't want nobody calling me up or anything, but it's just hard. Uh, hard enough to get into college and stay four years, but then to get to the NFL, we – it's been, we can count on our hand how many that have done it since even you've been in coaching, yes. possibly the next one. I mean, you know, it, it, it's just hard, you know, it, it, it's real hard. And, and, and you got to have a little luck along the way. you got to stay healthy. Well, you got a lot of factors. Well, you got to think a lot of kids that's come through here from really good time. That did, you know what I mean? That oh, gosh. Really I mean, I mean, phenomenal talent that walked through the, uh, the hallways for the for county that, you know, got a chance to maybe play a little college football, but didn't make it to the to the big dates, and it's not that we're against any of those kids. It's just how it fell. Uh, special teams, uh, how you looking? Well, Khalil Armand's back. We're glad to have him back. He's got a strong leg. He's he's hit the camp circuit, you know, and he's trying. What do to... you think? Where do you think Khalil Armand will end up? I mean, honestly, just your gut right now. I mean, today, if he thought Khalil was going to pull the trigger, it was National Saturday. Which way is he leaning? Uh, he he's enjoyed uh, the contact he's had with Coastal Carolina. Okay. You know, and the recruiting process, especially with the kickers, kind of like the quarterback, it's kind of slow play. You know, guys go through the transfer portal to get their quarterback, and maybe their kickers. Uh, so it's kind of been slow play for him. I told him it'd be something late that they pop up. You know, he's got a lot of a lot of interest, but nobody's really just pulling the trigger. Maybe uh, he enjoyed his visit in Navy. And you know, you may have to pack up and go somewhere just to get your start, but with the portal and everything, you're going to use it once you get your foot into the game, so yeah. to speak, and not a pun. But he may have to travel, but for one year, it could be great experience. Go somewhere else you've never been, live, learn, grow up, yeah. figure out their system, 
kick, get your job done, and then go pick them. Find a place you really want to go. You know, I'll tell you how serious he is about his kicking. He's talked to his dad about not even playing soccer this spring. Wow. Yeah, and you know, I mean, his dad's the coach. Right. You know what I mean? Not to play, you know, and he's he's had a great, phenomenal uh, soccer career, but that's how focused he is on soccer. He really he wants is. to be a, he really wants to be a professional he's, football player. Yes. He's got, I think he's, he's got it in him, you know, and, and but there's a kid training right now and, and, and preparing and making that commitment possibly has a chance. Right training, right, you know, right discipline. Yeah, he has the mindset. He works. He really works hard. Yeah, and that's what it's going to take. Any final logistics as you get ready to put the war wagon on the road and ride down to Smyrna, you know, Friday night, uh, it'll, it'll, it'll be fun. Yeah. I, I, I wish I could be on there with you, but uh, I'm going out to the Rock Vale Lowensville. That'll be a good game. That'll, that'll be a good game. And, and I'm, I, I'm hoping Guthrie can get us a win and, you know, and beat up a little bit on Williamson County and nothing against him. Just we want to see all our teams win yes. as they go into action on Friday night, yeah. and especially in our non-conference. We'd love to see everybody win. Uh, but uh, there's there's several good games that'll be going on, you know, and uh, the black the black and black and Brentwood game, brother. We're gonna be talking Ooh. to him Thursday, yeah. so you know, uh, and uh, hopefully he's gotten a lot better, and, and hopefully his his you know, and and you can remember your second year. Now you were already here when you walked in. His situation's a little different yeah. coming from you know coming from Williamson County over here, but I'm sure he's got his crew a little bit better jailed and he's yeah. a better better in a better spot now than he was last year as far as trying to get everything to your seat. But uh, if we close, Coach, and uh, we will be here next week, and I do know TV will be here, but we will work around TV. I've already told Limbaugh we're coming. Uh, but uh, uh, it's, uh, you know, you two are the last two that uh, we're all turf now in the whole county except to Laverne, right? Yeah, I don't think they may be able to to get it soon. Okay. I still want, you know, and this is, this is just me and Dr. Sullivan, if you're listening, this is what we need to do. Just, just kind of listen to the story for a second. But what we, if Laverne went to 5A, if we, I know we don't have any place for those kids to go, but that's what needs to happen. Really, that school, if we could get the student body down to a 5A level and then push everybody to elsewhere and let Laverne live, Laverne would be successful in athletics. Yeah. No question. I mean, no question. I mean, it's there. But it's, it's like they're at, they can get only so far with the talent they got in the pool of where they're pulling from. Yeah, okay. Coach Winter does a great job. Oh, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not doing that. But I, I, we have talked about it, me and Anthony, and I just had this vision that if LeBurn was 5A, they could win a, they could win a championship in football. And they, could get, they could get far into the playoffs and, and, yeah. and they would have some success. And possibly in baseball and other sports. I mean, you know, I mean, their basketball team made a mistake this year. Their basketball right, no, the basketball good. team is very good. Yeah. They're very good, and, 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 and some of those sports like that you compete. But if I just think it, if we slotted them there, and I may be stupid. I'm not in the school system. Let's get out of here. All right, <clears throat> Warrior fans, going to have to gather everything up. Get down early. You know, getting there on Bulldog Drive. It's kind of a it's kind of a logistic situation over there. But uh, I'm sure you'll have a great time, uh, uh, and I'm sure. Uh, uh, who is that dancer over there? I can't even think of his name. Shipley. No, it's Shipley. Jeff Shipley will take care of you. I've known Jeff forever. But anyway, that kickoff's at 7 o'clock, and that'll be uh, the Bulldogs and the Warriors. Y'all be there.